Hi, this is Stephen Rothberg with College Recruiter. At College Recruiter, we believe that every student and recent graduate deserves a great career. We've recorded a series of short videos for job seekers who are looking for part-time seasonal internship and entry-level jobs to help them through this COVID-19 bizarre time in, in our country's history. These videos are all available on our YouTube channel under a playlist. Just go to www.collegerecruiter.com slash COVID-19 playlist. And COVID-19 playlist, all one word, no hyphens or anything like that. I'm joined in this video by Faith Rothberg, who is the CEO of College Recruiter, also my wife. And the question for this video, Faith, is let's say that you're, uh, that you're um, currently employed Mm -hmm. but you're afraid because of COVID-19 that you're, you might lo lose your job. You might become, become one of the millions of people who have become unemployed recently. What right. do you do? So there's a couple things to keep in mind. Um, the first is that um, there, if you have real fear around it, I want you to know that the government has put out a lot of stimulus to help. And one of the things that you can readily do is get unemployment. They've made it easier and they've made it better. They've made it um, much more of your full-time salary for a longer period of time. So that hopefully will help some of you out there that are feeling this way uh, have a little less concern as, uh, as you'll be taken care of financially. The other thing I would say is that it's super important to begin a dialogue. Don't be afraid to ask what's happening. Um, employers are starting to do massive layoffs and there are things going on where the leadership may know, your manager may know what's going on and hasn't wanted to communicate that yet maybe. Um, but if you are having some concerns about it, you should be able to go to that manager and ask. What do, what do you think is going to happen? Am I going to get laid off? And, and, you know, work to try and create open communication that you're not scared to find out, but that you would want to know. Um, and then I think the third thing is you can always be looking for a job when you have a job. Mm -hmm. So if you're truly worried about getting laid off and it's not really all about the money, but also about the, I don't want to sit at home. I don't want to be bored. I want to be doing something. Then you can be proactively looking at maybe even other offers that you had recently gotten. If you or other companies you had looked at um, when you decided to take the position that you did. Um, and uh, also just start looking um, for similar types of positions that you're in right now, but just in other companies. Yeah, and I, I, I like the advice of going to that manager proactively mm -hmm. and asking for a heads up because laying people off is, is it's really awful for both, both the mm -hmm. employee and the employer, the manager. Right. And it, that manager may be afraid to talk to you about it. They may be, it may create a lot of anxiety and so they're procrastinating. Yeah. But if you broach the subject, affirm for them, you love your job, you love working here. So don't, you know, don't give them the impression that you want them to lay you off. Right. But, but, you know, you've seen millions of people getting laid off. You know, what does she think is going to happen here? Right. And that can open the door. Then she can say, oh, no, we've actually talked about it. We're good. We're not have, we've no plans to lay off. Well, that'll give you some comfort. On the right. other hand, well, we've talked about it. And unfortunately, I think we are going to have some massive cuts. We don't know yet, but the right. department might be impacted, right? right? That's a heads up. You better yep. start. Moving. So um, right. I, would, I would definitely advise um, somebody who's employed that's worried about their job to look back at other employers that they've already talked with in, in the hiring process. Right. If it's if you're in an internship or you graduated a month ago, there may have been other employers that you talked with that were really interested in hiring you. Maybe they extended an offer to you and you picked this other one. Circle right. back with them. 
Yeah. Um, we also have a video about if you haven't received an offer, what do you do? So when you're looking for a new job, even if you currently have a job, that's a video to watch. And again, just go to www.collegerecruiter.com slash COVID-19 playlist. You'll see that video along with the others in this series. Thank you, Faith. Yeah, thanks, Stephen.